Schoology tips and tricks, tip number 30, or really trick number 30. Um, how does it look? So you have spent all of this time adding some extra bells and whistles and fun elements to your course. And maybe you're wondering, this is what I see when I look at my course, but what does it look like to my students? What do they have on the side over here? What do they see at the top? So let's take a look at that student view that you can get of Schoology. On the left-hand side, if you come down to members, next to a member, you can preview course. And when you do that, you'll notice the left-hand side broke down very differently. Um, I can see at the top a little message. This is how this looks to this member. They see the banner announcement that I have up here at the top, and then they see the folders. And you notice there's no gearboxes next to any of these because this is uh, view only really for them. Um, they can go into a folder and see what it looks like in that folder and see all of these different tools. Um, and this allows you to see really like what is this going to look like to my students. Um, so it's a fun way to check out all of the work that you have done and what will it look like when your students log into your course. The important thing to remember to do is um, I hit materials thinking I was going to go back to my editing area. You do have to go back to course to get back to your teacher tools. And now I'm back here in my teacher tools um, for everything that I can do to continue working on this course. Um, back in that member view, just something to be aware of, um, under preview course, uh, the grades area. We don't typically see this as teachers, um, but this is something that students can see for your course, all of the assignments listed for a particular marking period. Um, so that is just something to be aware of too, if you want a quick snapshot of um, a student's grades in your Schoology class without being the grade book and you want to do a screenshot, you can preview the course, go over to grades, and do a screenshot of the grades for that marking period or whatever might be in question if a student is reaching out. Um, but try that out. See what your course looks like and see if you want to tweak anything um, based on how a student is seeing your course.